Good morning, it is March 30th, 2020. I would just want to do a quick video here to show you what you are doing today in math and science. So I'm just gonna quickly share my screen, show you how to walk through and do this quiz on your own so you don't even need your parents' help, all right? You are going right away to Pearson Realize. And when this loads up, you're just gonna click on the grade K that we always choose first here. And mine's gonna look a little different than yours because yours is just going to say my work all right now mine again is going to have all the teacher side of it so when you click my work you're going to have all these things pop up and the only one we're doing today is this topic 1 through 11 online assessment okay so what that is it's just going to be a 15 question test to kind of review everything you learned from the beginning of the year so some things you're going to see on this when you get to this page and you hit start it's going to ask you some questions to count objects, okay? You can use your mouse and you can click on each one so you don't lose track of how many there are. There's going to be some subtraction problems. There's going to be some tens frame problems on there when you have to count and use the tens frame to see how many more you need to complete the problem. There's also going to be missing hundreds chart problems. So you have to figure out what number is missing based on using the hundreds chart. You also are gonna have to do counting on problems. There's gonna be addition problems. So everything you learned throughout the beginning of the year up until now, this test is gonna ask you those kinds of questions. So just to give you a little preview, all right? It's gonna read it to you when you press this play button. So you don't even need anybody to read it to you. If you can read it, you can go ahead, but you can use this play button if you want as well. It'll quickly read the question to you. Like I said, you can count however you want click the answer, and then hit next. When you hit next, it's just gonna bring you to the next problem, all right? And every time you finish, make sure you click on an answer before you move on, all right? You have to click on an answer before you move on. Again, it's gonna ask you subtraction problems, addition problems, missing number problems, 100 charts problems. It's gonna ask you about tens frames, okay? And how we do addition on tens frames, how you do subtraction on tens frames. So all those things that you learned throughout the beginning of the year, that's what we're gonna be focusing on on this exam. When you're done, you're gonna submit it to me. It's gonna come through. I'll get your report and your score, and then you're done for math for the day. So then I'm just gonna quickly show you what our science plans are, all right? When you go through Clever, you are going to go to the teacher page, all right? On that teacher page for Monday, March 30th, you see right here, there's a Generation Genius for Science. You're gonna click that link. It's gonna take you right to a video on living and non-living things for science. That's what we're gonna be talking about today. All right, so I sent you a link. It'll work and it'll just play for you when you get there. You just press the play button. You watch the video. When you're done with the video, okay, I just want you to go back to Clever right here at the top. Click on Clever and then you are going to do the math book, actually you don't even have to go back to Clever after that, or the science book, all right? And we're gonna open to page 23 on here. So you can see it is about living and non-living in your science book, all right? But it's all in the lesson plans that you have. It's gonna tell you to do page 23, 24, 25, and 26, okay? So you have this workbook at home. You're going to do these pages with your parents. You're going to do the drawings in the book. All right, and then once you get to page 27, you're gonna answer those questions. All of the questions are right there in the book at the bottom. Once you complete that, you have some iReady math for the day, and then you're done for math and science. So that's just a little rundown of what the first Monday is going to look like. I hope you have a great day.